Critically evaluating websites is a complex process that takes a lot of time and effort to master. This tutorial will get you started with basic tips for identifying credible information sources that are suitable for academic research. The credibility of any website is based on the trustworthiness of the organization behind it and the expertise of its authors. Before choosing a website for research, it is important to examine the website looking for evidence of authority, accuracy, objectivity, currency, and coverage. Let's look at these criteria in depth. When looking for authority, the main question you should ask yourself, is this author qualified to write about this subject? Good authors list their contact information. As you can see here, we have the author's profile right here. It says, currently fulfilling a long dream of living in South America and supporting myself with my writing. If you look at the author's profile, you can then see previous articles that the author has written. Obviously, this writer is not an expert in the field of science or space exploration. You can also look at the About Us tab. That will give you more information about the site and the sponsor of the site. Here, this site is a knowledge community where you can write, share, and get paid. Definitely not experts in their fields. Other things to look at are clues that the authors are experts in their fields. Is the author affiliated with a research institution? Try and analyze the author's credentials. When looking for accuracy, you should ask yourself, is this information reliable? The information should be well-written and error-free. Information should be supported by evidence. Any claims, conclusions, and data should be evidence-based that can be linked back to the original source. Citations and web links connect to reliable sources that help verify the statement from the page. As you can see here, the author has claimed that the American flag flutters gently in the non-existent breeze, and that is one reason why the moon landing was a hoax. The supporting evidence is that NASA tries to get around this by saying it wasn't blowing in the wind, it was just a bit crumpled from being rolled up on the journey. Well, you can judge for yourself. Obviously, that is, this is not a statement that is based on fact or data that has been scientifically analyzed. Objectivity. Is the author trying to sell, entertain, or persuade the reader? Be aware of any potential biases in the information. Check the domain, such as .gov, .edu, or .org, to see if who the intended audience might be. Check the mission statement of the site so you can analyze whether the author of the site may have a biased viewpoint. As you can see here, this is a .com site. There are many advertisements here to sell the reader. The information presented does not present both sides. It is just a top 10 reasons for why the moon landing was a hoax. This biased viewpoint is not a reliable source for academic research. Currency. Is the information current and when was the information last updated? To find this information, look for a publication date. If you don't see one listed at the top, Scroll to the bottom of the site so you can analyze whether the site, author of the site may have a biased viewpoint. As you can see here at the bottom of the site, there is no date as to when this information was created or updated. Coverage. For academic research, the coverage of the information should be in depth. This means that summaries, outlines, or abstracts are not acceptable sources. The research should be evidence-based that can be verified by multiple sources. As you can see here, there has been no uh, data that backs up the claims. There are no citations at the bottom for us to reference. Therefore, this is not a quality site used for academic research. Please keep in mind that there is no single indicator of quality when critically evaluating websites. For academic research, the authority and accuracy must be present before you can use it for your own research. Website evaluation is a process of piecing together a variety of interrelated clues before choosing what to use. 
As the author of your own research, your credibility is at stake if you use unreliable resources. If you need additional help with the evaluation process, please stop in the library and ask for help.